Hey guys, what is going on? Devoka here once again. This is super random, I know, but this is more so for my own curiosity as well. And I don't know how many of you guys stay up late at night thinking about this, but is it better to bake or microwave these Marie Callender pot pies? They're like instant pot pies. You can get a big pack of them at Costco. You can find them all over the supermarkets. I'm sure you've guys seen these before. I'm gonna be honest with you, these are like my guilty pleasures. These are quick, fast, easy, and they're like decent meals. I like to have them with rice, maybe add some kimchi on there, you know, spice it up just a little bit. But the key word that I like about these are they're instant. You know, they're fast, they're quick. If you look closely on these instructions, you will see that there are two options. There is the microwave oven option, which gives you the cook time of five to six and a half minutes. Pretty fast. And then if you look over to the conventional oven side, you cook on a baking sheet for 50 minutes. They even got that fancy four flakier crust on there. <laughs> really nice cursive writing on there. It also says do not prepare in a toaster oven. Just to make that clear for you guys that are just trying to shove that into a toaster. Wrap the crust edge with a strip of aluminum foil. So now you're you're like dressing up the pot pie. So another reason why I want to make this video is because recently a friend told me that he will never go back to microwaving these pot pies because of how life-changing it was to actually put these into an oven. I do want to taste it out because I do love chicken pot pies. The quality of it when you microwave it, it's like it's not that great. But I do want to see if I can actually tell the difference and if it's worth doing the whole almost hour cook time in the oven. So you guys are joining me on this adventure of, I guess, Daboki Tries? Daboki Tries. I really don't know what to call this because I, I feel bad for calling this a cooking video. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. A few things before we get started. First of all, I'm already coming into this in the mind like it's not gonna be worth it. And I'm gonna tell you why. I come from an Asian household. In our oven, come with me, we store all of our pots and pans pretty much in our oven. It kind of acts like a storaging unit and when I tell my friends that I do this they look at me weird they're like no way you put stuff into your oven like that then how are you gonna use your oven well how you use your oven is you take the stuff out of your oven before you use it so it's kind of a commitment to use your oven for this small <laughs> little pot pie it's gonna have to be one godly pot pie to make me want to do this every single time I want to use or eat like an instant pot pie and what I'm gonna do with the microwave ones I'm just gonna make sure Sure that I cook it and start it so that they finish at the same time because of course the one in the oven is going to take way longer and I'm so hungry and I'm going to wait like an hour for this pot pie but maybe that's just planning ahead. So now prepping this beautiful pot pie. Tear it just right. So we got ourselves this pot pie. If this is your first time seeing this, this is the pot pie. It comes frozen, comes in a little container. It's cute and now it says to wrap the crust with foil. Don't know how to do this part. So it's just a crust edge, like so. I wonder what this does exactly. Does that look good? Now we have dressed up our pot pie. Now for our microwave pot pie, well, poke a hole right in here and it lines it out for you. I can never do this well, but it's kind of like well enough where there's like an outline on this pot pie that you can just kind of tear this whole part off like this and then that that's it. You use this as your baking tray into the microwave oven. When I was younger, I always thought this container was like a special, really special cooking tray. I am low-key worried that this is gonna change my thoughts about the Marie Calendar pot pies. Like, what if I just can't go back ever to using the microwave and it just takes that instant food away from me in my life? Oven is almost preheated. There it is. Whoop. This is the first time that I'm baking something in my video. We're gonna just do the 50 minutes. When there's six minutes left, I'll go ahead and just throw this into the microwave. Hi, Yuki. Hi. Oh. Boop. We got about six minutes left. Now it's time to put in the microwave pot pie. We are about to hear the kitchen sing. Is that it? Oh. Oh my my. Look at this beauty in here. Who are you? Well, hello. Oh my gosh, that flakiness. Look at that. That is beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and remove all this tin foil. Wow. Golden brown on top. Oh, it broke on 
the transfer. It's just, it's so flaky, the crust kind of broke off there. But that is just so pretty. That is pot pie number one. Pot pie number two, the microwave. Um, <laughs> okay, not looking as pretty. Let's get the transfer. Okay. Okay, so while it cools a little bit, let's go ahead and observe some things. First of all, I see Pangea happening on both of these pot pies. The crust is a lot flakier for sure. It looks like crust. This kind of looks like a soggy soup. It's still got a little bit of flakiness to it, but not as like this golden brown justice that this one is perceiving to be. And as you can see, just the transfer, the crust kind of popped off here, just how flaky it is. This, when I transferred it, the crust wanted to mush together even more, like it was some sort of gooey love. Let's get into it. I am super excited. We're just going to go ahead and dive right in and take a bite of each, yeah? So the microwave pot pie, number one. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to put my spoon right in. So inside looks pretty good. I mean, everything looks pretty cooked and looks really hot. I'm gonna get a piece of chicken, I'm gonna get a carrot, I'm gonna get a celery, and I'm gonna get a little pot pie. Good. Yeah, that, I mean, that tastes pretty good. I did have a piece of a crust there. There's an underlying taste of freezer there and that crust, but I mean, the pot pie innards, I mean, it tastes like a Marie Callender pot pie, and I'm gonna go ahead and focus a little bit more on the crust, so I got a bit more crust there. Mmm. Yeah, it's weird. The crust got a little bit of a dry feel in the back of my throat, too. A little bit of an aftertaste on that crust as well. Let me go ahead and dive into this one now. Oh, I'm, I just feel bad about breaking into it, but let's do it. Breaking right into the crust, and it's just wow. It is just wow. Already the juice is flowing out a lot more, as you can tell, than this one. This one kind of concaved in. This one, it wants to come out. This one wants to stay in. It just looks like there's a lot more in here, too. Kind of flowing out of here on the top. And this crust here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little bit of crust first with the carrot. No, no chicken in here yet. And let's taste this. This is oven baked. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is really good crust. That is actually so good. It's so ironic because I would expect the flakier crust to be a lot drier, but that was a lot easier and smoother and almost had more moisture in that crust than the microwave baked pot pie. I mean, just appearance wise, the oven baked looked drier than the microwave one. Just look at the difference between the two and I broke into them. I mean, this one, maybe I did break into it a little bit messy like, but this one is just, it's looking like more of a pot pie. So I do want to taste this chicken with a little bit of crust here and give it a shot. Mm. Even the chicken is different. That was delicious. The chicken feels more tender, even I think because of how long it was cooking in there. I want to taste one more from the microwave chicken. This is the microwave chicken right here. It doesn't have as deep of flavor as the oven baked pot pie. I would say the taste wise, pretty similar, but the oven baked one, the flavors are just a lot more deep. It kind of soaked into the chicken, it seems like, with the, the soup base of the pot pie, and it made it a lot more tender. I gotta say, comparing these two, the oven baked pot pie is way more superior than the microwave one. I'm really enjoying that broth too that's in that pot pie, that base flavor. I do have my peppers for palate cleansers. <laughs> I really like to have like spicy pepper or some sort of kimchi while I'm eating a pot pie. So we'll just go ahead and have one of these guys right here on the side. Oh, he just dunked right in. Look at that. He wants to take a little bath. You can take a little bath there, little one. Mmm. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna continue eating this oven baked one for now. The crust I'm super impressed with. It's got that golden flake on there. There on the top, just as they advertised on the box. Mm. Oh, and it stays hotter too, which for me, I love scolding hot things like soups need to be really hot. Pot pies 
need to be really hot. And that's just probably due to how long this was baking in the oven. But it just, it keeps that heat in there. And that it's just a, a really different experience eating um, an oven baked pot pie here. It feels heartier also. It feels like it got just a lot more in here as I'm scooping into this pot pie. My pot pie actually grew. That was good. Really tasty. We're gonna go back to the microwave pot pie. All right, microwave pot pie. Yeah, I can already tell. The heat difference, night and day. It's still got that heat in there. There's not as much juice though. I think that's what I'm missing. When you oven bake it, you just get so much more of the juice and the flavors to kind of soak all the ingredients inside the pot pie. The oven bake just seems so much more full than the microwave bake. And I was eating more of the oven bake. You see, you just see all these liquids in here, all these juices that kind of formed and kind of marinated all the innards of this pot pie. This one is looking a little bit more dry in here too. Just oven baking that, you get a lot more moisture, the crust tastes 10 times better, and you can just instantly tell which one was in the oven and which one was in the microwave. This is like a childhood food that I'm just rediscovering right now for the first time. Sorry, hold on one sec. Let me take a few more bites of this before I give you the final verdict. Final verdict between these two pot pies. Oven baked, obviously superior. It is way better than the microwave one. Just the quality that you're getting and the flavors that you're receiving from the oven it's just good. It's really good. This is still a Marie Callender's instant pot pie. You can only get so much flavor from it, so it does still kind of have that underlying taste and flavor of a Marie Callender pot pie. So is it really worth going that extra step to oven bake one of these instant pot pies. I would say for myself, it is worth it to go that extra step to oven bake it. You do need to do a little bit more work, but the results that you produce are just so good. I probably won't do this every single time, but definitely it will be on my radar and it will cross my mind the next time I do want a pot pie. I would say try it out. Let me know if you have tried it and which one you prefer. But that was good though, and I was impressed. I never knew that Marie Callender's pot pies could be like that. And that was, I was very impressed. The gravy in that oven baked pot pie was just top tier because the amount of gravy that's produced when you oven bake it, it was just wow. <laughs> like it was overflowing and just every bite, like I was saying, just felt so full. Those flavor bombs, juicy, tender, it was great, really good. Well, thank you for joining me on this random pot pie adventure for me wanting to experience an oven baked Marie Callender pot pie. I know this was a little bit bizarre and very random. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And next time you are in the supermarket and see the Marie Callender pot pies, just know those little golden circles could be amazing in the oven. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Daboki. Much love, one love. I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.